Hi everybody. I know it's been a while, like not forever, but it's been a little while. It feels like forever. <laughs> I am here today playing with a little bit of the new dilutions that Diane came out with. Um, hmm. I have no concept of time right now. I know it was towards the end of June, so I can't quite remember when. And I'm playing in the Classics Journal, and I just chose some of the, like her regular media paper pages. And I didn't have anything planned out. I just knew I wanted to get a feel and play with the new stuff. So I chose some collage images and I knew I wanted to write a quote in that new stencil of hers called Down the Rabbit Hole. And I'm using the large one here. I'm showing you here how I find quotes. I just go on Google and I typed in quotes and then I searched for two different things because the collage image I used, like the head and with the lady that was there and it looks like it's sitting on her shoulder and kind of on her back as well. So I looked up um, monkey on my back and um, devil on one shoulder. So I looked up quotes pertaining to those two things and I just screenshot the ones that I liked and I'll choose when I'm ready to do the quote. So that's all I do for finding quotes. That or I'll look through ones that I already have saved. Here I was just flipping through the ledger journal to see if I could use that instead of the large one, but my collage images were way too big for that journal. So I stuck with the classics. It's been a long time, I think, since I worked in the classics journal or any large journal. I feel like I've been working a lot smaller lately. So for the background, um, I'm just wetting the page a little bit. And then I'm going to add some Dilutions ink spray. And I'm not going to cover the whole area. Like, I'm just doing little bits. And I'm using vanilla custard and then rose quartz. So you see, I'm not covering the entire page. I'm leaving a lot of white space. Now I'm grabbing the large lock and roll stencil and I'm laying it down on top of the wet ink spray and then I'm spritzing it with water and it doesn't give the greatest ghosting technique but it does give some. And then while the ink was still on my stencil I laid it down in the white space area just to give a little bit more of that print because you can faintly see the outline of the keyholes down in that bottom right corner. I just mop up the excess with the paper towel. I love the pattern on the paper towel. No, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> so I dried my pages before I moved on to the next step. And I'm not ready to paint that yet. I just like to put everything in place to get an idea of what to do next. Because like I said, I didn't have any plan. I just knew I wanted to use that stencil that is there on the the journal page now. Other than that, no clue. So I'm grabbing this old stamp set from Di Dilutions and it's called Basic Backgrounds. So I didn't want bold images like, you know, if you tend to stamp with inks or paint, it's going to be more bold than 
like watercolor or in this case dilutions ink so I just sprayed a little bit onto the mat and stamped my stamped into it and then stamped it on my page I may have went a little overboard there on the right side with the circles if I had it back I would have tried to you know have more self-control <laughs> and not stamp it quite so much but it's okay now make sure to clean your stamp after because it will activate the next time you go to use it. So now I'm doing the same thing with another stamp from the same set but using Slate Gray Dilution Sink Spray. I love the look of it, especially when the page is done. Like right now it just, it looks too crisp and everything but when everything's done and it dries, it just has this, I don't know, this really nice, somewhat muted and grungy look. I really like it. And I find these collage images so quick and easy. Usually I hum and haw and try a million different things and then maybe I'll settle with the first thing that I took out. But these collage images, like, I just made up my mind quick and it really went well together, like, right away. So, little tip here, you may already know, but a lot of the times the stamps will lose that cling on the back. So, I just spritzed it with some water, rubbed it around with my fingers, and then dried it off, and it stuck back onto the sheet. It's a pet peeve of mine, them falling off. Um, with all the newer stamps that I get now, I tend to keep the plastic and I'll just chop off the top part so I can just pull my stamps in and out and not have to use the sticky, like open and close the sticky end all the time. But I keep the plastic and keep them in there because I'm, I'm afraid that that cling is going to stop and I'm going to lose a stamp. That would be devastating. <laughs> So now I'm going in with that um, lock and roll stencil again, but in the small. And I'm using some new uh, shimmer paint by Diane. I mean, shimmer paints are not new, but the color. She has a new color in the shimmer paint, and it is vanilla custard. And I really like the look of it. And I was surprised that you could actually see it on camera. Like, I didn't think you would really be able to notice the shimmer, but you can. Like, if you look on the right side where the shimmer pink goes over the pink, you can really notice it there. And again, I was trying to practice self-control and not go overboard with it. It's really hard, but I find on those pages where you leave white space, less is more. But at the same time, you don't want it too stark. So it's almost like there's this fine line <laughs> of when to stop. So now I am finally adding that stencil from down the rabbit hole. And I don't paint through that last little bit there on the left. And you'll see why. But this black paint just goes on like a dream. Again, I know I've said it before, but the Dilutions black marble paint is my absolute favorite black paint. I don't find anything else covers like this black one. So now notice I'm not doing that last little bit and I don't normally clean my stencils but I am here because I want to flip the stencil over and have that little crook going the other way so it looks like a speech balloon coming out of her mouth so you'll see it here in a sec so I started out with it that way 
and I clean my stencil and I'm just flipping it and adding that last little bit just so it's pointed towards her mouth. Now that the paint has dried, it is not cured yet, and normally I would have had more patience, but this is the first time I've done any arting of any kind in two weeks or more. I know you may be sick of hearing it, <laughs> but with the new house and everything, no, we're not in it yet, but we're having to get our house ready for a sell and there's so much to do we are getting things done but it's been constant like working on it so I haven't had any time for this kind of art and painting I've been doing lots of painting <laughs> just not on any canvases or art journals and that other kind of painting is definitely not my favorite <laughs> so I decided to give this little speech balloon type stencil a quick very messy outline I don't know what possessed me to do it but I don't know I just felt like it needed it for some reason and I don't regret it I like it I'm just snipping off the collage that hangs over the page if it was the top of my page, I may not have bothered, but like, I don't mind when the tip of the head pops up, but that's the bottom. And for some reason, I don't like having that overhang. Now I really had a hard time writing my quote on that black stenciled bit. And first I was thinking it was because I didn't wait long enough for the paint to dry. But I think it was actually the Posca paint pen that I was using. It was like almost dead because I grabbed another one and it worked way better. So I've chosen my quote. It wasn't a monkey on my back. It was Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I just found it funny. And the quote doesn't take up the whole space, so I just added a little bit more afterwards. Because to me, it felt kind of funny to only have something on a part of it. And I wanted writing on all of the black swirl. And I just noticed that I made an error. I got it's wasn't. <laughs> There shouldn't be an apostrophe S on that. I didn't notice that at all last night when I was doing it. Which I'm not surprised. I was functioning on like about three hours sleep. <laughs> So you'll see that I have to shake the pen and try to prime it a lot. And again, it was the pen. It wasn't anything else. I just chose the wrong pen. Now, I can't recall what the extra wording is that I wrote. Like it was just something that I wrote myself. It wasn't another quote or anything like that. And then I added a tiny bit of journaling. I wasn't sure whether or not I should do that, but I felt like the area needed something, but I didn't want it too bold. I really wanted to use my fine um, letterit pen but with everything still being somewhat, like it's not wet, but it wasn't, you know, it hadn't been long and I didn't want to wreck the pen. So I just used like a regular pen and I don't like it as much as I would have if I had used the letterate one. 
So this is another one of Diane's new stencils. And all three of these stencils that I've been using are all from her latest release. And this one here now is Leaf It Out in the small. She came out with a small one and a large one. And I had, after I did that little bit of journaling, I was calling it done. And I turned off the camera and I was looking at it and it just still felt like it needed something. Not a lot, but just a little something more. So that is why I grabbed this stencil and I was gonna go with doodles, but the only doodles I could think of are the ones that um, Megan does and I didn't wanna copy her. <laughs> Not that she's the only one that does it, but I feel like her little swoopy doodles are like Megan's signature mark. Like to me, that's how I feel. Like it's, I see it and to me it's like, that's Megan. <laughs> so I didn't want to do that on this page and I know she would not have mine but I mean it's not hers everybody does it but like I said to me that's Megan so I wanted to try something different and that's why I thought of using the stencil because I just wanted something coming off of that little quote and I could so picture Megan's doodles and I could so see her doing it if it was her. <laughs> so instead I went with this and then I decided to add a little bit of it on the left side as well. And now to me it looks done. Like I'll add the white you know, scribble outline. And I get a little bit done and then I decide to try a different white pen and <laughs> come to see that it works so much better and that it wasn't that the paint was wet. It was the pen all along. So I go back and do the leaves and then I go back over the journaling that I did in that swirly quote thing. And that is it that is it for my journal page it was so nice to play and i'm so glad that i took out a little bit of time today to do this voiceover so i can post it for you because i don't know when i would have been able to i would it probably would have kept getting put off until like later this week or next week and i didn't want to go two weeks without posting a video for you guys so thanks so much for dropping by and watching my videos and listening to me ramble. <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.